Hi guys and welcome. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Bergeon automatic oiler. This is the 1A model. As you can see the oiler is a pen shaped device with a black plastic tube which contains uh, two screw heads. The larger of the screw heads as you'll see in this close up also doubles as the trigger and is the clamping piece for the needle and this clamps the needle into a chuck type device inside. The smaller of the two heads is an eccentric screw which adjusts the droplet size of the oil that you deposit. The needle protrudes down through a clear reservoir which you fill with oil and out of a very fine tip. These are perfect for oiling balance end stones. Here on the screen you, you can see a balance end stone uh, which I'm trying to sort of wiggle into the middle of the frame there. End stones are made of a, a, a solid stone which has a flat side and a curved side. On that is a shuttle and this is comprised of a, a dual hole with a metal surround. The pivot of your, S, uh, your balance wheel fits through this and seats on the end of the flat end stone. To use the oiling tool you grip the assembly in your tweezers like so, insert the tip of the needle down onto the stone and then operate the trigger by pulling it up and letting it down. What this does, once it's been adjusted by means of the eccentric screw, is deposit a perfectly sized droplet of oil bang into the center of the end stone, which is exactly what you need with one of these. This is something that's a little trickier to do using an order, a standard oiler and onto the end stone and then placing the chaton on itself. As you can see here, um, I have taken them apart on a piece of Rodico which I'm rotating in the light there to show you the droplet uh, so that you can see the, the size and the shape of the droplet which is in the centre of the end stone there. Ordinarily of course you wouldn't do this, once it's, it's set up you would do this to initially set the oiler up for oiling your end stones. Once you know that it delivers the correct droplet size of oil, you would do this and then go ahead and fit the whole assembly back into the watch movement as I'm going to do just here. This particular device, uh, while not cheap, has proved to be incredibly effective and a real time saver with respect to oiling the end stones. I personally don't think I would see any great benefit in using this oiler or any of the other oilers for oiling uncapped jewel holes um, because a standard spade shaped tipped oiler will do the, the same job relatively easily and if you're used to using those I don't see that you'd find any benefit with an automatic oiler for uncapped jewel holes but certainly for balance end stones this thing is absolutely marvellous it's, it's a fantastic thing it's very clean it's easy to use it does have to be stored with the tip down so it's absolutely essential that you keep the stand that you saw at the start of this video which is a weighted stand that the the unit sits in kind of like a pen stand um, it cannot be laid down simply because the oil would drain back out of the reservoir and into the body of the oiler itself so it's important to note that the stand must be kept to hand so that once you place the oiler down you can place it face down into the stand. The needle tips are incredibly fine they are also very expensive to replace so you want to be incredibly careful when you do so. At this point here I'm replacing the diafix spring on the top of the end stone. You'll see um, there was a bit, little bit of a fiddle, that's because I was trying to fit it with one pair of tweezers, which is incredibly difficult to do, hence having to block your view in the latter part of this video and using the second pair of tweezers to 
and manipulate that into place. I hope this has been useful to anybody considering one of these and thank you for watching.